Okay, so we imported everything. And the first thing I'm going to do is I do not like the mana bar, or the consecration bar, or the cast bar. So I'm just going to say never. So you click on it, you go to load, and this load thing determines when it shows up. So it's useful for like, um, if you only want something to show up in red spec, you would put like a, a talent that's only in the red tree. And then it will only show up if you have that talent. So I don't like any of those, and I'm going to reload so you can see my cast bar again, because sometimes cast, your cast bar would disappear when you mess with that in the weak aura. Okay, so I have my cast bar back. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange. Uh, so in the core, this is like where all your main icons are for the Lux Lux. And I'm just going to rearrange it into the order that I personally like. So I just do this one, two, three. Um, and you can pretty much ignore the red stuff because that's not going to show up. So let's see what I have right now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, and so right now I use my divine plea. I only, I personally like it when, um, I, my philosophy is if it, I need to press the button, it should light up. If it's like on cooldown and I can't use it, I want to fade it out. So I'm actually just gonna start instead of divine plea with uh, shield of righteousness. Um, so let's go with make a new condition. We're gonna say if it's on cooldown, we're going to desaturate it. It just like changes the color. We're gonna fade it out. This alpha is like the transparency. The lower it is, the more transparent. And 100% means it's 100% visible. Uh, so now when I use this, it's really faded out. I might even fade it out some more. And then I'm pretty much just going to do that to all of my spells. Wait, why is Avenger's Shield there? Don't want that thing. Do Alpha 13. I'm just going to do that for all of them. So this one is like the aura, and this is like the cooldown of the thing. So for Holy Shield, you just want to go to the second one. Okay, and now let me fix my Divine Plea. I want it so that it glows if it's not on. And I want to say if it's like um, not on cooldown. It's like I can't press it. So I want two things. So instead I'm going to use this combination thing, all of. And I'm going to say if it's on cooldown false. And if the active is off, then we want to glow it. So right now, you can see it's not on and it's off cooldown. When we press it, it's going to be that color. And then once this finishes, it's going to not glow because even though we don't have the buff, it's not on cooldown. And I think that's really it for the majority of the Luxlos. If I like how to customize it. Alright, see ya.